we want to do is we want to write this as an augmented matrix. So you're probably thinking, okay, what's an augmented matrix, Mario, right? So what an augmented matrix is, is you want to use the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables, and you want to write it like this. So you can see we've got 1x plus 1y plus 1z equals 4, so see 1, 1, 1. And I've just drawn a line here. This is the augmented matrix portion. Okay, you have your solutions on the right. Same thing here, 2x, I've got 2, negative 3y, negative 3, and so on. So each row represents an equation. So now what we want to do is we want to go over to the graphing calculator, either the TI-84 or the TI-83, and what you want to do is you want to go over to second, which is in the upper left-hand corner, matrix, okay, which is above this x to the negative 1, and you want to select uh, edit. Okay, so arrow to the right, edit, and press enter. Okay, so now we've got a 3 by 4. Now what this means is you have three rows, okay, the rows go left to right, and you have four columns, 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are the vertical ones, like the columns of a building. And so now what you can see is that I've already entered the data points here, so you just have to go down and, you know, enter each of the data points for this uh, matrix. And what we're going to do is you want to, after you do that, is hit second, quit. Okay, this is an important step. So right above mode, so you hit second, quit. And you want to go back to second matrix. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to select math, so arrow to the right. And you want to arrow down, you want to go to row reduced echelon form. So see letter B here, R, R, E, F. Go ahead and press enter in your lower right hand corner. And then you want to go back into the matrices there. So second matrix, and you want to select uh, matrix A. That's what we stored this matrix here underneath. So we're going to press enter. And then you can close off that parenthesis over here on, if you'd like, but it's not necessary. And then press enter one more time. And now what you can see is we have the solution to our system of equations. We have 1x equals 1, 1y equals negative 2, and 1z equals 5. 